welcome back. This is the first of two photographs I've used. Um, there's some fascinating stuff here that I want to show you. The first thing is I want you to look at is look at these depressions um, going up the rock. This is an, an area that they call the rocky outcrop. Um, let's start over here. You see this depression here that goes up naturally up the the slope. Uh, if you look there, you can actually see some cable or rope going up through the rock and hanging down there with a hook on the end that seems like a hook, and then it goes through that hole there, and I suspect up here somewhere. Um, now we look at the next depression, still finding my way around this, here that goes up the rock. See this depression here? Well if we follow that up to about halfway there, you can see what looks like lettering on the, the rock there, but you can also see this tubular structure with a hole going through it and some kind of um, object at the back that's got a hole, um, a spouty type hole, a hole in the top and a handle um, or grip on the back there. If we continue to follow up the slope, there's another rope or chain there um, with a square rectangular shaped metal bit with a hole in the middle that could be connected to this. And you can follow that right up to um, this, which is, um, this, this video is about machinery on Mars and we're looking at things that couldn't possibly be natural. They're man-made and manufactured and this is one of them. If we look at it, the shape of it, you can see it's got straight lines. It's got like a slot there um, as though it's supposed to hook onto something um, and it's in, it's actually lying in um, a square hole. There's a hole in the ground there and if you look at the side of it just there it looks like there's some chain going down into the hole and that's where the, the third depression ravine type thing here it could be associated with that and that one you see that? How smooth it is going through there and it seems to disappear under the rock. So whether that was for actually um, dragging goods up the rocks, I don't know. Um, but in support of that, there is, you've got that chain there or rope or cable with a hook on the end and I can show you something else as well very very interesting um, if we look at this item here it seems to be a, a weight of some kind with a hook on the end and it looks to be a metal um, hook. That could be connected with it as well. But the main point is that this here is definitely um, man-made. Um, it could have a, a wheel of some kind there or a cog, I don't know. Um, 
but that is just one of the items I want to show you. Okay, so this is the second image um, I want to show you. Lots of interesting things in this. Um, here's one of them. I'm looking at manufactured objects and machinery. Look at that. See it? It looks like an engine housing of some kind of vehicle, I don't know. If you look at the outside there, it's got a hole there, it's got a hole there, it's the right shape for an engine to go in it, it's streamlined, it's got symmetry. Looks amazing. And if we move over to here, just ignore the face, there are thousands of faces on Mars. <laughs> I'm more interested in the machinery. If you look at that object there, it looks almost elliptical in shape, coming to a point on this end, and it goes to a flat base. And on the inside, you can just uh, just make out there's a chain here, and a, a, a round piece in the middle with a center center point pin. See that? So there's two items, well three that I've shown you, that are obviously uh, manufactured and they could not, they're not natural. Um, okay, this final image will show you something that I'm sure all you doubters will have to agree um, is a machine tooled item. Um, Remember to check these images yourself. The links to all the images are actually in the description. Let's go down here and just look at this. Now, what do you make of that? That is, <laughs> without a doubt, a part of some kind of machine. It's metal, it's got geometry, it's um, perfect shape and it's completely unambiguous that has been manufactured whether this on the right hand side is actually part of it and what is underneath it is part of it I don't know it could be buried whatever it is but that is amazing that is precision tooling. So I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Um, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to do another video now. <laughs> Bye.